Down in the depths lived a plethora of mind-numbingly mystical creatures who happened to like their freedom. So, as you might imagine, they and the god of the sea didn't exactly crack open the champagne when the Moon Bear King took over. Well, the tyrant knew a pack of unruly sea monsters could be trouble, so he ordered Generals Pig and Sheep to pollute the moonshine sea with magic oil. It transformed the sea god's servants into dastardly, greedy creatures that devoured everything in their path. As our brave little heroes dove deeper, they found themselves in a world of darkness where the water ran black and sunlight was a distant memory. What is up with this ocean? I'd say I've never seen anything so gross, if I could actually see. In time, the two arrived at an ancient and secret palace at the bottom of the sea. Within it dwelt a gargantuan god whose strength had been all but sapped by the tyrant's oil. <laughs> Oh. Where are we? Oh. Are you okay? Seriously, what is up? Water's up, water's up in the underwater palace. Supposed to be the sea gods, and free from greed and malice. Well, the water's clean enough to see into the stratosphere. Created natural disasters, not like wore them. Trident! Trident? Oh, like a pointy spear. Pointy spears, pointy spears. Yes, a trident is called a trident. Triple wrong and extra wrong. The sea goes bright and joy. And pointy spears are something else. A trident could banish evil, but
of debts. Uh, uh, I fear there is no hope. He seems pretty depressed, huh? Hey, squid dudes, are you gonna take us to where the Kraken is? You are? Well, of course you are. Your lives are at- You must save my ocean! My scrumptious Ica and Woody, my Imkura and Abby, and especially my Tora. Oh, and don't forget the Anago and Hotate, and all the other edible white fishes and other fishes. He sure knows his sushi menu. That's my kind of god. I think the squid on point is showing us the way. Atta boy, give that squid a cookie. I would give anything for one mouth-watering meal. I can't get my mind off all that delicious sushi. Or maybe some calamari. Kutaro was on snack. Uh, excuse me, on track to finding the Kraken and stealing back the God of the Sea's trident. It was a worthy cause. Picarina could picture the clam bakes already. Hey, we're not in this for the We're in it for some big fat moonstone sharks. Oh, I, I mean, we're in it because it's like the right thing to do, yeah? Nice try, darling. The God of the Sea's squid carried Kutaro even deeper into the Kraken's briny lair. They had plenty to contend with between a smack of freewheeling jellyfish, treacherous spikes in the terrain, and rocks sharp enough to shave them. As he went deeper into the trench, Kutaro noticed the marine life was getting just a little bit more freaky. Just then, a ferocious fish with a built-in headlight and a nasty set of gnashers decided to crash Kutaro's cruise. It's an angler fish! Ooh. Kutaro was in hot water of his own. One after another, he was beset by murderous deep-sea menaces. The crab! The menu was tearing Kutaro apart too, but he fought on, hoping to reach the Kraken soon. The jellyfish, as it turned out, were on the good guy's side. Sure, they didn't know Kung Fu, but they were masters of just sort of floating there, which made them perfect stepping stones for Kutaro. Thanks, jellyfish! I salute you! At long last, Kutaro reached the ocean's darkest depths. With sunlight out of the picture and oily goop mucking up the water, the whole place looked like a... Giant anglerfish incoming! The oil slick had worked its tricks and morphed this fishy feed into an impossible size. The battered remains of a sunken ship lay on the ocean floor. A squadron of squid scribbled solemnly nearby, as if paying their respects to the souls the wreck had claimed. This mass looks ready to teeter over.
baby jellyfish? Oh, they're so cute! Pagan Sheep's goopy oil had done a number on the legendary Kraken, transforming him into a demonic butcher who chopped up the local marine life, gussied up their corpses, and then devoured their flesh raw. Oh, that's horrible. Completely immoral, I say.
Again, and coral pink, and seaweed green, and every starfish orange. What rhymes with orange? Trident it rhymes with orange. It rhymes with everything. It rhymes with everything. Every creature stands in awe before the sea goes Scissor wielding hero, thanks to you, the moonshine sea has regained its former splendor. You have my deepest gratitude. Thanks to you, thanks to you, the sea is back to. Shut up, Kutaro! I would like to present you with a party gift. I have filled Calibus with a new power. One I am certain will make your journey easier. The god of the sea placed some of the trident's power in Calibus because he believed Kutaro could hew out a better future. But would he part the stormy seas of destiny or invite new storms of his own? With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro had proven slicker than the Kraken, winning back the Trident and helping the God of the Sea unpollute the water. Next on his hit list were Pig and Sheep, who had holed up in Crabclaw Cove. <laughs>